What up, Lincoln Nation? Here, it's your boy Kareem, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow, let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. Official time now is officially where the Lakers can trade Austin Reeves and Rui Archimor and 18 players. Um, now are eligible to get traded. Everybody in the league now, all trades can happen now. Um, reason what happens is uh, it has a rule when any free agent signed, I think, double the amount they was getting the previous year, they have to wait to January 15th. Um, some free agents, if you just sign regular, uh, you wait till December 15th to get traded. So now every NBA player is eligible, unless some guys like Jared Vanderbilt, he the only Laker that can't be traded. Jared Vanderbilt, the only Laker that can't be traded. And now everybody eligible to be traded. Um, this is going to be very interesting. Um, I want to see how it plays out. Um, like I said, it's nothing going to happen today. As far as with the Lakers, I do believe a lot of teams are aggressive who want to make multiple trades. Because, you know, especially if you get in a player and you may have to reroute them. Let's say, for instance, if um, this this thrown out there, let's say if D Lo, let's say a trade like evolved with the Lakers, D Lo, Reeves, and and Rui, and let's say they don't want D Lo, so they would do a deal like that today, and you know be able to try to move D Lo in the deal instead of waiting to the trade deadline. It's hard to do that to to reroute. Them. A player, so it's not just D'Lo. A lot of a lot of players, um, especially when you're dealing with uh, multi teams, you deal with like a, a three team trade or even a, a regular two team trade, and and you're dealing with multiple players. You may let's say if you, it's a, a three for two, out of the three players, you, you may only want two of them. The other player you might want to get rid of them because let's say if, especially a veteran that looking to play and you're looking to play some young players, you may, you know what? I don't want this guy to be in our locker room. I don't want to buy him out. I'd rather get some value for him so he good. So they look to try to trade him to another team. So that's why a lot of times some deals might get done soon or especially when teams who who got like, especially like, like a team like Atlanta, they want to trade a lot of, um, at least half their roster, they willing to trade only I'm here. Only like three players on the team is untouchable. Is Trey, uh, Awangu, and um, and Kobe Buffin. So, and I'm here. AJ Griffin too. You know, um, I don't know, but most of their roster is 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 them guys looking to make a trade. So, a team like Atlanta need to do something now. Um, like you might could say the same for the Lakers. The Lakers looking to. To, to get rid of Lakers, I can't really say that. Lakers might get the right piece. It they might just stand pat. Like I mean, they might could do one trade. I, I'm predicting that the Lakers at least do two trades, um, because I think they they some things that they they want to do. Especially if it's a, a if it's a one on one, they definitely gonna make like uh, two trades, two to three trades. Um, but we got to watch out for teams like Minnesota, OKC, and Denver, and Milwaukee. Those teams like that, they got some holes. But if they tighten up on their holes, like let's say a team like Milwaukee, they get a, a bench player that can help them, they going to be dangerous. A team like Denver, Denver don't have no bench. If they can somehow make, because there's a lot of good players on minimum contract, if they could get two good players or two solid players that can, like, a, I say they need a backup center. They just run Jokic to the ground. They get, like, a, a, a decent, like, backup center and, and, and like, a, a wing to come off their bench. Denver could be dangerous. If OKC get a guy like marketing, they could be dangerous. OKC, I'm hearing that they interested in Isaiah Stewart. If a team like um, Minnesota, they get like a, a good veteran to come to their bench, a guy who could get some points. Because they already got some good production coming out of um, Reed. He he killing. But they get another player that could come off their bench that could get them some um, buckets and, and especially play some defense and some outside shooting. They could be dangerous.
Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.